Rosemary Ashley lived with progressively worsening arthritic hip pain until it made her its prisoner. It's just everything you do it takes twice as long and it hurts while you're doing it. But I have tried to continue doing what I would normally do, except, you know, I can't be outside, can't rake the yard. And I miss doing that because I like being outside. But, you know, I used to play tennis and golf and all the fun stuff, but you just can't do it when you're hurting. I used to walk two miles every morning, and you just can't, you know, when you're hurting. Like I, like I said, I don't play tennis anymore, I don't play golf anymore, and I never did get into pickleball, which my kids all love, so I've really left out of that loop. I'd love to just be able to walk out to the end of the drive and pick up my paper pain-free would help. No one likes to think that it's time for a total hip replacement. Rosemary was referred to Dr. J. Mandume Karina, who would ultimately perform her surgery at Leesburg Regional Medical Center. As a surgeon, you wake up every day and you hope that you can deliver to your patients the best that's out there for their particular problem. And medicine and surgery have changed so dramatically from the days when I was in training 25, 30 years ago, we recognize that sometimes doing less is often doing more when it comes to that patient. Thousands of hip joint replacement surgeries are performed every year in hospitals across the country. For some patients, an alternative from the traditional approach to the procedure can help alleviate much of the post-surgical pain as well as reduce their recovery and rehabilitation time. For many patients, the anterior approach is the right choice. We wanted to find an approach that truly allowed you to leave every muscle belly intact. And we wanted an approach where we were retracting muscles out of the way using tissue that did not have significant functional impact. You do much less damage to the actual muscle itself. And we found with this that the rehabilitation for patients is much more rapid as, as well as being um, much quicker to a higher functional level. Because the surgeon works between the muscles rather than cutting through the fibers, there is less muscle damage. And because the muscles aren't cut, patients typically experience less pain and require less pain medication. Less pain means a faster recovery with patients walking in minutes rather than hours after surgery. All of our patients so far have been up and walking in the recovery room as soon as they wake up from the surgery because their number one mechanism or method for getting rid of their pain is to get up and walk. And since no muscles were cut, and muscles were just pushed out of the way, the pain that you get is really from spasm of this muscle. And the only way to break the spasm is to start walking. This has helped us tremendously in combating the opioid epidemic that we have. So most of our anterior hip patients, in fact, all of our anterior hip patients up until now, have not received any opioid medication in the hospital. And by the time they leave the next day, they're walking with a walker or with a cane. Another advantage to the anterior approach for hip joint replacement is reduced recovery time. So one of the modifications that we had to make to our rehabilitation protocol was actually the length of time that the people were in rehab. Because these people were going home the next day from surgery, they had home health care for two weeks, which was what was in our standard protocol. The shock to us was at the end of those two weeks, most of them did not need any more therapy. So we went from a uh, two-week home health, four-week outpatient protocol, just down to a two-week home health, and then possibly spotty outpatient with this approach. I have a lot less discomfort since the surgery than I had before. I mean, I just, you know, it's, well, I just, I don't have any pain. I really don't. I have some hurts once in a while where I probably exercise a little more than I should have or something or a little stronger. But I really, it, it is, it is a freedom. Yeah, it is a freedom. To learn more about orthopedic surgery at Leesburg Regional Medical Center, visit leesburgregional.org.